All right, hey, what's going on, young people? Today is New Year's Day, and we're just out doing some plowing. Uh, I've got the yard family with me, and uh, here I am. There's yard mama and yard kids back there doing some sleeping. Um, just that way to uh, come along here. I've already plowed through here, and I've got more to do, but uh, uh, just thought I'd show you the property. And then what I'll do is, uh, I'll show you just part of the property that I'm plowing. Then what I'll do is get out, show you the equipment I'm working with, and uh, we're gonna keep plowing the rest of this. I've only gotten the entrance so far. I'm using a Western seven and a half foot um, HTS snow plow, uh, straight blade on the front, and I've got a Western 2500 uh, salt spreader on the back. I've got the control module right here on the dash and uh, I've got my uh, echo light system uh, so I've got the, the lights going as well and uh, uh, it's kind of neat so I'm gonna hop out here um, I guess I'll hand the camera off to yard mama here real quick while I put my sweater on it's a little cold out of there so she can talk to y'all or show you all around whatever she wants to do while I Get my sweater on. Say hi to YouTube, your mama. <laughs> hi, YouTube. <laughs> they say howdy. All right, let's get out here. Thank you, yard mama. All right, let's go ahead and take a look around here and see what we're working with. Um, Y'all haven't seen some of this equipment. Some of it's new to you. Um, there's the uh, Western 7.5 HTS. Uh, I've got the Nighthawk lights. Those are LED. We've got, um, uh, I've, I've been out since um, uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, these haven't frozen up at all. These have, uh, these Nighthawk, they have heaters in the, uh, in the, the housings there. Uh, I've got some strobe lights that uh, I had installed. Those are Echo strobe lights, along with the Echo uh, light bar. It's a 47 inch light bar. Uh, snow plow's doing great. Uh, there's the there's the yard mama yard kids are in there somewhere uh got the, the christmas lights look a lot better when it's uh dark here's the salt spreader uh it works so uh that's really what i need it to be doing i've got additional strobes here on each side of the the back again just trying to uh have as much visibility uh as possible i want to be I want to be highly visible when I'm out here doing the snow plowing. As you guys know out there in YouTube world, or if you don't know and you're just researching, there's a lot of going forward and backing up. And uh, uh, as you can see, the sun's barely shining. It's uh, overcast day. It's still snowing now. So uh, I want to be visible. Anyways, uh, plowed this first, took care of the entrance. A bit of an incline here. Not sure if the uh, camera's showing it off too well, but uh, my uh, de-ice out to go ahead and uh, make it so the folks that are living here can get in and out of this area uh, simply and uh, well let's get back to it still got to go down that way there's a frozen lake there it looks like a no it looks like a football field that's a frozen lake uh, but I wouldn't go ice skating on it um, I'm gonna have to put the camera up and uh, I'm not gonna have it going the whole time because I'm kind of slow doing this job and uh, I try to take my time, but yet yeah, do a good job and do a safe job. So uh, I guess I'll have Yard Mama uh, hold the camera while I go forward. And uh, we'll probably turn it off after about a minute and a half or so. Then I'll come back later and we'll finish up the video. And uh, I should be able to get this published tonight. Hey, uh, by the way, now's a good time to like and subscribe if you uh, uh, like what I'm doing with this channel. If you like some of these upgrades I've made to the truck. Um, if uh, I'm, it's helpful at all, um, or if you have questions about some of this equipment I'm using, go ahead and put that down below. Oh, I did set up an external camera. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick, because with the salt spreader on, my tailgate camera doesn't work. So I knew I needed to be, you know, me, Mr. Safety here. I wanted to be able to see. So I installed this, and I've got the, uh, the wiring routed underneath the truck up to the front. It's just a 12-volt, uh, so you plug it into a cigarette letter. I can hardwire it as well if I wanted to. Uh, standard four-pin uh, cable for, uh, like, security cameras. And uh, 
Uh, the, the camera is uh, pretty awesome. I, I'll put a link in the description below. I got it on Amazon. I forget the brand. Um, I paid under a hundred bucks. Um, and I got two cameras. I've only got one installed currently. Uh, came with all the cables, came with everything I needed. Um, to include that monitor. And uh, so I, I've just got some alien tape holding this thing down. Um, and I can turn the camera off or on if I want. And now uh, you can mount the camera sideways. Uh, you can flip the view. So if you needed the view to be backwards, you could. Well, it helps if I choose the right setting upside down. So, you know, you've got a lot of options on how you might want to install the camera. I'll put a link down there uh, in the description below. Some of y'all might want this um, or something like it. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe or at least like. Show me some love. And... Um, if you haven't gone and checked out some recent uh, Christmas or New Year's videos, I know Ben from Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. Uh, check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, but if you have, go check out his latest video. He showcased quite a few uh, landscapers and uh, lawn care professionals and um, uh, d some uh, additional contractors uh, throughout the country and some even overseas in his uh, New Year's Eve video. Uh, him and uh, KH and the rest of the family are uh, doing some awesome things down in Oklahoma. And uh, I really like what he does with his channel to help promote um, some other uh, lawn care companies and uh, contractors to include other YouTubers. So uh, if you don't if you don't know about him yet, check out his channel. I think you'll like it. He's also on Instagram. I think it's at Acme underscore mowing. So that's his YouTube YouTube handle. There's a lot of awesome dudes out there, gals out there that are uh, making content. Um, that's just one of them, and I'm, I'm one of the others. So uh, there's plenty of us out there. Uh, I'll hand the camera off to Yard Mama, and we'll get going. Yard Mama? All right, we're gonna do some plowing along this dam here. I'm gonna plow the damn snow. So I've got the blade down right now. Um, it's not on float, I will be bringing it up. Uh, this is a gravel road, so I'm trying to not be plowing a bunch of uh, gravel and then leaving a pile of gravel out and about so I don't have it on float I've got it just up a bit I might make a second pass but I want to check this out first over to the left is a lake um, it's probably quite a bit frozen but uh, we've gotten about four inches of snow already today it's 2 p.m. and we're expecting a little bit more for the next two or three hours and um, we had some ice earlier this morning. Uh, nothing really started to get heavy until about 9, 10 a.m. So that's when I started. Well, that's it. Uh, I'll close up this video a little bit later. But uh, for y'all, it'll be instantaneous. Take care. Stay cool. Bye. All right, yard people. Hey, so a uh, little transition. Sorry about that. I finished plowing that uh, property. And it's now 3 o'clock. So I don't know... Uh, what the time was last time I was doing the video. Um, I'll show you where we're going. So we're just out and about for a little drive. Uh, I guess we can do a little car talk, truck talk. Um, New Year's Eve, we didn't do much except I prepared for properties and uh, we had some bean soup. Uh, what we did is we took the uh, ham bone from, or some ham soup, we took the ham bone from the uh, uh, dinner that we had for Christmas it was a um, honey baked ham uh, ham and uh, anyways I uh, then made a bean soup out of that uh, a ham and bean soup and it was really good it was tasty um, so this is a, uh, a country road out here in the Kansas City area uh, where we live and um, I'm going 30 um, just trying to take it real easy on this road. Uh, see the backup camera or the, the rear camera? So it's just always going. I can turn it off. And as a matter of fact, at nighttime, I usually do if I'm just going forward because I don't want the uh, the glare. 
Um, we end up getting at least four, maybe up to six inches of snow, and I've been plowing all day. Um, gonna be heading back out to uh, do some touch-ups on all my properties. So, um, let's see, this morning we had, uh, so I've been at a dozen properties, some bigger than others. Uh, the last one we were just at, that's a 24-acre. Uh, um, you've seen that over the summer with me mowing the grass. So, uh, we do leaf cleanups there as well as snow plowing and uh, the grass cutting. It's a, it's a fun property to do. It takes, uh, it takes a while. Um, but me with a, a, a guy or two, uh, we can knock that property out mowing wise in about five hours. Um, if we were doing weed whacking around all those uh, different uh, RV slots, um, that adds in another, oh, at least three hours. Um, but I don't, I only do the weed whacking on request and there's an upcharge for that. I don't know how you guys run your business, uh, but um, uh, when I bid on the property, I gave the client um, information regarding what the, the mowing would cost and then what mowing with weed whacking around. I had to be specific around, uh, you know, on that side's property. Um, and we went with the weekly weed, uh, the weekly lawn mowing and then uh, weed whacking on request for an upcharge. So they're awesome clients. Uh, the, the tenants there that are living on that property uh, uh, all seem to uh, be pretty cool as well. The ones that I've talked to uh, just seem to really be in a good mood. And uh, so I like the property, I like the account. Um, even when we move away from this area, uh, we're probably going to keep that account uh, uh, because we're already gonna be somewhat coming out here anyways. And uh, that property would be one of the reasons why we're gonna continue to come out here. Uh, besides, it's a fun property. I get to park the trailer once and uh, be busy for five to eight hours and uh, that's usually my day. I usually do that property on Saturdays. So, Well, this video is getting a little long. Uh, so again, now's a good time to hit that like button. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or you, you have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and put that down below. If you wanna know any more about the products that I'm uh, using, the products that you've seen in this video, uh, hit me up on Instagram or uh, email or you can, um, um, add a comment to this video. My email is yardmanllc at hotmail.com and the uh, Instagram is at yardmanllc. So uh, you can find me. And uh, that's it. I hope everybody has an awesome 2021. For those of y'all that are not uh, working during this season, uh, enjoy your off season. I hope that uh, your uh, Winter is a good one, and uh, start prepping now for the spring because it's coming up. Um, that grass will start growing before you know it. So that's it. Y'all stay cool. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, YouTube. Hey, what's going on? It's still uh, New Year's Day. A little bonus footage here. Uh, I completed the route, went back to the house, um, and picked up. Uh, one of the guys that works with me and today's actually his birthday so uh happy birthday to him and uh want to get out here and show a little bit of this uh back dragon that he's got going on this is the second time this property's been hit today uh i got the stakes out of course i want to stay out of his way but uh just getting it going so it's kind of slow going doing the back drag method. Of course, it uh, uh, takes a while. Uh, it's a lot quicker going forward. Uh, I like wind rowing a lot better. So, anyways, I think he's got it down. So, uh, I don't think I had the lights on earlier. This little Rudolph nose, I think it looks pretty cool. You can see these lights. All right, see the... They look cool at night. Um, salt spreader, I didn't show this light here, but uh, here, let's go ahead and turn that light on. I can show you and I can I can angle that light differently. See, look here, I push this switch. 
and then on the back of the salt spreader so that's uh, uh, option offered by Western um, I had to pay extra for it but uh, well that's it hey I'm gonna be uh, closing up the video uh, I've got three segments that I'm gonna be uh, uh, putting together uh, on my software tonight and then uploading this to YouTube I hope you all again have a fantastic start to the new year and uh, certainly I'm hoping and praying that uh, y'all have a, a very prosperous and uh, blessed new year y'all stay cool talk to you later bye